See, that's the situation with most organizations. A lot of times they promote people based on their technical expertise, right? But they're good at what they do. That doesn't mean they know how to manage people and people get that mixed up. And so, of course, with what I do, you know, I come in and help with leadership development, you know, programs. But that's 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 that tough thing, man. I think everybody has a story of great person, um, good at what they do. But on the flip side, they don't know how to lead people um, mm -hmm. into a way to help them develop and become the best that they can possibly be. Um, so that that can be a struggle, especially when you're starting off um, early in your career, That's dealing uh, with something something of that sort. So post post um, post car place, you was able to get good training, good development. Mm -hmm. um, Joseph, Joseph A. Bank as well too. You you were able to get yep. good development, um, good training. No, uh, to be honest with you, no, no, no. Oh no no no. no. no oh, I thought you said that was the manager that put some. Some things no, no, in no. Here. So the to the jewelry place and the clothing store had terrible management for both. It was oh okay, absolutely terrible. But just from working, you know, you know, I was doing basically a sale. I was selling what eight to eight to twelve hours a day. Mm -hmm. If you sell that much, you sell that for that many hours, you're going to learn, you hopefully learn a little something. <laughs> but no, both of the places were terrible. It's, it's once I moved to Florida and the guy at the postcard company, after those two jobs, that's where I was got great management. Okay. So it was, it was kind of one of those things you just learned on the job. You learn the do's and don'ts. No one necessarily taught you, um, but you just kind of figured your way out, navigated to figure out how how can I be better, um, and what what gave you that mindset? Because I mean, you literally could have given up. Most people after a year or two would be like, "I'm done with this. I'm not, I'm not doing this no more. I'm moving on." So, what made you stick with it? What made you you know continue your development um, in that space? Uh, for me, it was you know I really enjoyed I really enjoyed the people. I really enjoyed talking to people. And and asking questions about is just asking questions about you know who they're buying it for. That was just a uh, it, that always made for a great conversation with somebody you don't know. You know, it is it, it's, it's not like it's customer service at you know a, a telephone place and you're just fixing issues and problems all day. No, it's happy people that are in love. You know, coming in, and, and it's just a, a great. It's, it's, that's a great time. It, it's uh, not not stressful. The other thing is, you know, you're talking about pieces of jewelry that are twenty, thirty thousand dollars or more, diamonds and, and rubies and sapphires that are, you know, my biggest client, my biggest customer. She spent thirty thousand dollars on a ruby ring and necklace piece with diamonds and everything. So there's no better feeling when you have a, when somebody likes you enough or trusts you enough to buy a, 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 a very expensive piece of jewelry from you. So that was always made me continue to go. And then also, I guess it was, you know, it was a, it was a cushy job because you know, if I had to work, okay, but at least there's a TV here on Sundays and I can watch football with my buddy, mm -hmm. you know. So, you know, I think it's a combination of all those things. But, you know, in the midst of that, you learn a little bit of something. So, Okay. Nice. I like that. So, I, you know, I asked those questions because I definitely want to give – the people that watch the videos a little feel for you and your processes and how you got to where you got to. So now we'll get